Oh, good afternoon. Okay, in this particular session here, what we're going to do is we're going to do some um, identification of some targets. Why don't we start off here with absolute beautiful uh, prime example of what pipes in the ground look like. Now these pipes were scanned um, below con. As you can see, there is no ferrous identifier or signature. What I mean by that is these little pieces of red here are typically associated with ferrous. And so these pipes are non-ferrous pipes that can be either PVC or HDPE. And a uh, test target like this is absolutely wonderful to look at. And as you can see, there's no necessary filtration because when you're looking and you have good scans, everything will show up just wonderfully. So let's go over here and let's go to a ferrous metal target. And it's important that whenever you scan something, you make it so you can repeat it. Now, on this particular target here, uh, we're looking at and we have two signatures. And if I'm going to put this here on its side, let me go and reduce the values a little bit so we can see them here. While they're on their side, one of the things that you can see is that you have a red and a blue right next to each other. And this is very important. And just to ensure that they are still of the same target, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to raw data, which is the F4 key. And in the F4 key, you can see that this is indeed the same target. So this is very, also very important to know that when you look at it, even though it may look like this, this is the raw data, by the way, that the, here is the, the actual target, and they are actually connected, even though there's this little strip of green in between here on the scan. And in pushing the F4 again, you'll see that it really looks like it's quite visible, uh, that there's uh, a mutual area between, but they are still one. And this is the importance of finding that in, in a repeat here. Let me open it up here to number two on this test target. Here you will see it shows up a very clearly and well defined. Again, I'm going to come here and put it on its side. Let me reduce some of the values down a little bit and push the F4, and you're going to see still the same target. So it's a single target. It has not moved. It is one unit. And here you can actually really see that there's no separation in between the two. But then when I hit the F4, you will see that the initial filter will make it look like there's two separate targets, whereas in reality there's only one, and this ferrous target is in the hole. But you don't see the second half of the hole because of um, the way the software is taking up the, uh, is cleaning up the target. Now, go over here to a couple of things that I have here. We have a tunnel, which this is just absolutely you couldn't get a much better picture on this tunnel here. Um, this has been amplified. It uses the VLF emitters. And you can see here that this has been amplified on this particular target. Now, on this one here, I would like to have more scans of it, but that's the only one I have for this particular tunnel. I have one other tunnel, which is a prime example. Let me, before I go into that, I just move here to the side. And here you can see the side view here as it starts to move through here and how it drops down. And you see it doesn't drop down very deep, which means this tunnel is deeper. So the weaker the signal, go to the side view here, the weaker the signal, uh, I'm trying to get over here because it, they weren't exactly straight on it, but the weaker the signal is, it's not going to be as deep in terms of this area here. If it was a very strong signal, it would be very much deeper, meaning it's closer to the surface. Okay, and so let me go here, and I wanted to open up this last one here. And in this one here, this is again is a self-explanatory tunnel. You can absolutely see how that lines up, and I'm going to put it here in this one facet so you can see. When I push the F4 button, you're going to see how well that is defined as a tunnel. And it makes it extremely easy to identify and realize what it is. Um, this is the first of many videos that will be posted, so uh, check back often, and I will get more for the Visualizer 3D software posted so that you can all have a better understanding and learning. Any questions, please throw me the questions. Okay? It's, uh, um, I mean, never enough of them, but throw them at uh, me, and my email is fcasser.com 
at okm-gmbh.de or simply come to the website of www.okm-usa.com. Thank you.